The third strategy is to create specific and detailed activities or prompts. Give the students specific questions to answer. Put the questions on the board or the screen. Tell the students how long they will have to discuss. You can also give them something to complete, like a grid, table, or graphic organizer. See the example here. Students can work in small groups or pairs to complete a graphic organizer, helping them to know what is expected and stay on task. The fourth strategy is to circle the room and check on students. When students are doing group work, you want to walk around. This shows them that you care about what they are doing and you are interested in their learning. That will help them stay on task. You can also encourage them to use English, answer any questions they have, and check to see how well they understand the material. Walking around allows you to judge how much more time is needed for students to complete a task. And finally, when you walk around, you can ensure that groups are working well together and that students are being polite and respectful in their communication and sharing. If you notice any problems, you can join a group as necessary and talk to them. Talk them through any misunderstandings. The fifth strategy is to correct students' English only when necessary. Students will often feel less self-conscious and nervous about their level of English if you allow them to speak and share ideas without correcting their English. Sometimes it is necessary to correct them. Usually, this is when meaning is not clear. If a student gives an answer that you think will not be understood by their classmates or that you don't understand, you will need to either restate the answer in a way that is clear and understandable, or you can ask the student to restate the answer. If you are concerned that the student cannot restate it clearly, it is usually best to just restate it yourself. Do not correct students' pronunciation or grammar as long as everyone can understand them. With time, students' English will improve. What they need is practice speaking and sharing ideas. We've discussed five strategies to facilitate student interaction and group work in your EMI course. I hope you found this video useful and can implement these in your own classes.